guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting ring to episode 26 of Healing Good Pretty Care. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. KCW, I am sorry that this is 3, 4 days late because it's going to come out Tuesday morning for you guys. My weekend was hell. I don't even want to talk about it. Let's just say that. It was hell. <laughs> but she has a different way of showing it, of course. So what is this going to be like? A try to scare me episode? I mean, this is going to give me feels towards like what? Freaking Aura High School House Club when they were trying to do like the operation, like find out how to use like weakness, like what she's afraid of. And then we didn't know until the end of the episode because she's afraid of thunder and lightning and such. I mean, Omi seems like the type of girl who isn't really afraid of anything because she's so badass. So, yeah, I can't see her being afraid of something. Nadoka and Chi, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hina, possibly as well, but I don't know. Still, I wish that they, what they did with this, you know, how they're all together with their little partners. Instead of adding Cure Earth at the end with the breeze and everything, why couldn't they just put her in as something extra? I mean, it's hot in here. I know I turned my hair down, but I just came out from outside and it's humid as hell outside. Even though it's like six o'clock in the evening. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what this title was. I was like, mm. Or an Animal Crossing. I just try and travel. Takes one day. Speaking, I, I, Cody, I didn't call you. <laughs> Speaking of Animal Crossing, I need to check on my stuff. I'll do that later on tonight. Come here, baby. There you go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Still, it makes me wonder. We're 26 episodes in, and then Umi's only been here for a couple of episodes. Why does it? They don't like, let her go to school. So is this, hold on, is this just going to be like a, not really a recap episode, but from how we're going, it seems like a recap episode, but you know what, that's okay. I'm fine with that. Mm-hmm. 
I know. I wish some other Pretty Cure series did this. I'm just saying. But you know. We have to start with healing. But where are you going? Okay. Well, then those three have school, but then partners, what the hell are they doing? Who, me? You want to play? You want to play? Oh. Like, no, I didn't want to go find everybody. I wanted to play with you. Oh my god, did you just hit yourself? This dog. What are you doing though? Are you okay? Hey, you okay? He fine. I'll, every single time I see him, I can remind him <laughs> of the articles talking about paying time to find so precious baby. <laughs> Why? What the heck is going on? See, okay, hold on. They must be really not wanting her to go because either they're planning something for her or it's just, like, ignore Umi Day. <laughs> and it, I'm going towards they're planning something for her, like maybe a four or five month anniversary since she's been here. Yeah, a little clumsy as well, too.
Yes, but let's not forget the episode where, like, mm, she wanted to quit. Which I still love the fact that they did that. I mean, it's the second time in the series that they've done it because Go Princess did it as well. And how they did it for um, Kirara was very different for Hina. Plus, those two are so similar as hell. Yeah, I mean, I'm guessing something big is happening today, but what? Oh. <laughs> Maybe they're doing something with the fireworks vessel. I don't know. <laughs> something for Omi. Like, it has to be. Well, no, he's doing his own thing. None of hers. I feel like she's either going to run into Nadokai next or Hina. Probably Hina. I mean, they wouldn't go without you, though. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Not just a costume party. For a costume party, yeah. <laughs> of course, let's talk about it. <laughs> I still say that is the best episode for her because oh. That was a very emotional episode for her, and I hope she gets more later on in the series. <laughs> well, yeah, but it's always been the three of you, and the way this episode is going, it's like... The three of them are in their own little clique, and they're leaving her out. So it's kind of messed up. It's almost like how in Star Trek Corporate here, when um, 
uni was always on her own and I was okay with that at first but then eventually I was like I need to see more of her interacting with the girls because yes this is the independent bitch like love her but she needs friends <laughs> So one of the prettiest transfer, I mean, did I say transformations? Attacks in this show, but I need to see the syringe of pretty <laughs> because we're 26 episodes in and we haven't gotten it yet. But I think it's only when the four of them together come as a group, that's when the new final attack is finally going to come. So probably by episode 30. Oh, oh me. How we might not even have a Mega Bugan in this episode because we only have seven minutes left. Yeah, I don't like this. I, I, I get the reason of why they're doing it because it's going to be a surprise to her, but still. I hate the fact that she's being left out. And it's only this one episode probably they're going to do it. But uh, it, it just hurts. Oh my god. Oh, 
You'll see. That's why she was like, hey, let's play. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> of course. You feel better now? This was a good episode, but in a weird way, even though we were seeing flashbacks to several other episodes, it felt like a main story episode, but then also a filler at the same time. And I, I'm not mad at it. It was good. I, I love the fact that it just focused on Umi as a character by herself, feeling upset getting to learn more about the girls and their backstories and their struggles and everything. It was interesting not to have a monster of the week this week, but still at the same time, it, it just, I don't know. I think it was, it, it should have been a little bit needed, but I get it. It was nice. That's all I got to say about it. It was cute. It was really cute. I'm glad that she was able to learn about everyone else and to write a diary. I mean, I hope that, like, by the end of this season for this show, she goes back and she looks at what she wrote and she's like, oh, remembrance and stuff like that because mm, she baby and she needs to just learn from everything. And I'm just like, ah. But it was cute. I mean, the fact that they made this for her to have her be surprised is a really nice thing to do. I think it's, like, probably the cutest gift that, like, any of the girls have done for, like, any of the New Yorkers, except, well, no, 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 no. Between them and Emmy Du and Nulu and Hagato, how when, um, was it Emmy Du? I think Emmy Du doing her, um, singing for the first time to Lulu, like, uh, <laughs> Lala, Lala Lulu, Lulu Lala, Lala. La 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 la. Lulu? And, psh, fuck it. I don't. Oh, I always do this every single time. Oh my god. But when they when she sang to her for the first time, because it is yeah, it's Lulu because Lala is Star Twinkle. Yeah. Um, when she sang to her for the first time and how like emotional she felt and how maybe you felt when you watched that episode. And then you have them sing together and then transform together. I mean, seriously, no matter what, like, their transformation will always be um, an homage to Sailor Moon. Not only because, yes, Soul Animation makes both prettier and Sailor Moon, it's just the way that transformation went. I was just like, oh my god, it's like, you can just put Sailor Moon music in here and just be like, Sailor Moon. But, I mean, speaking of Sailor Moon anyway, I mean, oh my god, let me just say this real quick because. This, to me, this has gone on mm, Twitter for about 
two, three weeks now, I want to say. And because I do follow um, not only Pretty Cure Us Twitter pages, but also, like, the topic things and stuff for Pretty Cure as well. <laughs> for the last two, three, maybe even four weeks now, um, there have been so many arguments about how people are saying that Pretty Cure is a knockoff of Sailor Moon. We know Save the Moon came out first. We all, everybody fucking knows that, even up until 2020, even now. It's not really a knockoff of this show. They're very similar esque, yes, but Pretty Care, like, there are moments where I can say, I can't say for the, mm, let me think about that real quick before I say it. No, I got it. Okay. I'll say it like this Save the Moon Crystal had, like, little to none mature moments. Pretty Hair has a lot of mature moments focusing on things that kids get to learn about every single day. Um, someone my age gets to learn every single day because there's certain things that I didn't know, especially as a 20-something year old going into this show and thinking that we were going to get so many mature themes into almost every single fucking show for Pretty Care. Now, I could say like the original 90s Sailor Moon that like me and so many other people have grown up on, yeah, that had a lot of maturity, learning experiences, and like that. And I think that's what inspired Pretty Cure to get like, oh, hey, here's another Magical Girl Eyes show that is long as fuck. <laughs> I think it is currently, like, yeah, it is like the longest running Magical Girl series. But it's not a Sailor Moon wannabe series. I, I would never want to say that to anybody to anger because there have been so many freaking arguments on Twitter, even till today, if I scroll down on my timeline, just looking at some random stuff, like, 5 out of 10, I may see, like, 2, 3 arguments about people going back and forth, and people saying that this show is just a shit show, and that nobody really should watch it, but I'm like, this show is so good, it, the, the themes, and the lessons that they, like, explain in this show whether it's Futariwa up until this show it's so good I mean not only with independence but also learning to um being in a team with someone that sometimes you don't have to do something on your own I mean they they did that a lot with Star Twinkle specifically with Umi because as I said Umi was a character who was very independent on her own I want to do it like this a still leader type character, but until she learned that she needed the rest of the girls to, you know, work as a team and work together, that's when she truly was like, okay, this is what it feels like to be on a team because she's always been on her, on her own. And I mean, it, it's just good. Even though, you know, I had problems with that show. <laughs> we all have problems with some pretty cute shows because, I mean, their every pretty cute season is good as fuck. But, at the end of the day, <laughs> we still have problems. By the time we finish the show, we are, we're always sitting here with a lot of unanswered questions. And you're like, ah, did you do this right? I don't know. But, yeah, I, this episode was really good. I'm just really glad that they focused on Umi. I mean, she's one of those that I think she needed an episode like this where she felt really, really, truly upset because the girls were kind of doing something without her and she felt left out. But at the same time, it, it's really fucked up in me. But I am so glad that they did this because it's sweet. It was a nice little kind gesture. Still love the fact that there was no Monster of the Week, but still we're going back into next week when we're getting something. But for a nice main story slash filler-esque episode, it was really good, honestly. Because I can't think of any other season that has done something like this. I mean, Healing Good Pretty Cure did the, it's one of my personal favorite episodes, the, like, parody of making fun of itself. That was, like, the best fucking thing ever, and that's, like, early on into the series when Emiru and Lulu meet up, because mm, that was, like, mm, I was just, like, yes, 10 out of 10. I was, like, I love a show that literally makes fun of itself, because that's how you know how good it is. But, I mean, yeah, I, I would love to see more, like, anything after Healing Good up until going into the 20th anniversary of Pretty Gear itself, seeing more episodes where we get to see something like this, where it is a main story slash filler-esque episode. But 
Other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 26 of Healing Good Pretty Care. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Mattress Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys next Sunday. Sunday. Yeah, on Sunday. Because, um, I don't think... I think I should be able to film the episode on Saturday. Even though I now... Hold on. Where's that paper I have right here? Let me look. This Saturday is the third. Hold on. One, two, three. Well, no, I already have that out. One, two, three, four. And then this is five. Yeah, I think I should be able to get it out by Saturday. But um, if not, you'll see it on Sunday with um, a regular Magic High School season two. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.